In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some amazing add-ons that will help you make 2D art using Blender. These add-ons will help you with various 2D art styles such as pixel art, manga, anime, comics, and much more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys that the Blender Market is having right now a huge summer sale with 25% discount on add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. So to take advantage of this opportunity, I prepared for you guys a list of the best Blender add-ons and courses and you will find all the necessary links in the description down below. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the Pixel add-on which is great for creating pixel art. The Anos interface is organized into four main sections, which are Setup, Camera, Material, and Outline. In the Setup section, we can find the Setup Project button that will set your Blender project's render settings to low resolution. In addition to enabling Freestyle and setting the color view transform to standard so that it can start rendering pixel art. This in addition to other stuff. We also have pixel cameras. This allows you to choose isometric camera presets with easy controls and the ability to add custom cameras which allows you to adjust the scenes quickly. We also have material control and with this one you can use pixel material that lets you apply a responsive tune shader that works best with Eevee. You can also adjust light, shadow and outline colors in addition to important textures and tweaking using sliders or nodes. And with the outline settings which is the last one, you can define the outline thickness and toggles to achieve a unique look and also change material boundaries, ridges, silhouettes, etc. The next add-on does not exactly allow you to create 2D stuff. In fact, the opposite, because it basically can turn sketches and drawings into a 3D mesh, which can be useful if you are a 3D artist and you know how to create sketches or drawings. This add-on will actually give you a new way of using Grease Pencil for modeling, in addition to animation or even physics and simulations, which I think will open new possibilities for a lot of people. Furthermore, the add-on contains various features that can work as an alternative way to modeling. Its main feature is to convert sketches to geometry in a short period of time, but it also contains other features such as add to union to different objects, or remove to get rid of the difference between two objects, also the intersect and slice to get some thickness to the object. Additionally, the add-on allows you to choose between a destructive or a non-destructive workflow, and it also allows you to draw on services and project strokes to services in addition to other operations. From creating 3D objects using the Grease Pencil to now creating pure 2D art, this add-on will help you to create backgrounds for mangas easily, and it is called Mangaka. It has multiple tools that will allow you to make your 3D scenes look like a manga-style illustration. And using the layer system, you can make adjustments on a per-asset basis. And you can also make specific adjustments to the manga-style settings for each individual asset in your scene, such as changing the line's width, color, and much more. We also have this interesting add-on called Grease Pencil for Mesh, and as its name suggests, it basically allows you to turn your 3D objects into Grease Pencil objects. While Blender's Line Art modifier offers similar functionality, this add-on significantly outperforms it. It basically offers other features, such as the full color conversion of all the mesh materials into Grease Pencil colors. Furthermore, it also has edge filtering for sharp edges, intersections, and curved surface outlines. And you can convert selected edges that are marked as crease, sharp, and freestyle. Moreover, you can stylize the generated edges using edge noise, in addition to random thickness, edge offset, and multi-lines. And you can also generate outlines around curved surfaces. On a side note, the recent version introduces animation, allowing Grease Pencil objects to mimic the mesh's animation, which is great. Still with Grease Pencil, we have the Grease Pencil design add-on for Blender. It was actually created to improve your workflow when using the frequently underutilized Grease Pencil tool, especially when it comes to design. This add-on addresses Blender's limited SVG import capabilities by providing tools like Align, Distribute, Arrange, Bevel, and Merge Points. 
For example, Align allows you to align objects in a relative or absolute mode. In addition to assisting with group alignment or individual adjustments, Distribute, on the other hand, maintains consistency by aligning strokes based on their edges. Also, the 2D Arrange feature streamlines complex projects even with varying stroke depth orders. Additionally, we have the Bevel and Merge Points option in the Grease Pencil Point menu, which is gonna smooth corners and control stroke points. Additionally, the add-on boasts seamless integration and a dedicated layer context menu. I personally think that this add-on is extremely underappreciated and not a lot of people know about it, so I think you should take a look at it and see what it can offer. The next add-on is called GP Animator Desk. This one has various features that can help you with drawing animations. The first feature I would like to introduce to you guys is the Draw with Hands feature, which is a system of hands that can help you to keep the order and direction of a drawn stroke or multiple strokes and prepare better keyframes for automatic in-betweens. Another feature that I like is the preference system which is a panel for transforming and managing reference drawings without leaving the drawing mode, which is interesting. In addition, the add-on has an easy onion skin and color setup with just 4 presets, which enables fast switching. Furthermore, the add-on also has extended options for managing frames and it gives you the option to choose between overlay side buttons or a toolbox panel which allows for fast switching between the most used tools, which is truly helpful. Inkwood is another add-on that adds a 2D black and white effect to your object, but this one will not turn your 3D renders into manga, rather it will turn them into ink drawings and paintings. The add-on has 5 shaders that you can apply to any object you have in your scene, and each shader gives different effects. The Water Ring shader lets you transform your scene into an amazing ink painting, and the Drunk shader works best if you are a fan of delicate drawings and rendering because it lets you manipulate the hatching scale and shape following rates. On the other hand, the Ink Ognito shader allows you to create stylized imagery and comic illustrations, and it has a mist system with full control of colors inside it. We also have the G-Roy shader, which works as a retro comic shader because it recreates the dense hatching style that you can find in hero comic books. Finally, there is the Good Point shader, which uses points and little dots to define your shapes which enables you to add a realistic and dark style to your renders. Now, again, we're gonna talk about a Grease Pencil add-on called Grease Pencil Draw Transform, which basically helps you to get some edit mode features while you are still in draw mode in the Grease Pencil tool. The add-on has four different tools that you can use, which are grab, rotate, scale, and pinch. And to use those tools, you just need to hold the left mouse button you need to do this where you want to apply the tool and then press a key depending on the tool you want to use. For example, you can press G to grab and move and you can press P to pinch. Generally speaking, this add-on is really useful and it gives you a better and faster workflow when working with strokes with the grease pencil. Now, I actually capped one of the best add-ons for last and even though this one is free, it has a lot of potential which comes by the name Niji G Pen. The add-on brings new and cool features to the Grease Pencil tool that will help you if you want to create 2D graphic designs and illustrations. The add-on focuses on 2D shape processing of the Grease Pencil stroke and aims at using Blender for graphic design and illustration. It includes three main features, which can convert 2D shapes into meshes and it offers some basic operations of 2D shapes, and on top of that, it offers data exchange with other painting and designing software. The add-on also contains some offset operations, like for example we have bevel and tint, and it also has 2D boolean. Furthermore, it allows you to generate 3D meshes from just 2D strokes and with multiple and different styles. Additionally, it allows you to import XML codes generated by different color tools and palettes. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. Also don't forget about the sale, because this is a great opportunity. 
I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.